It's time to drop the hammer. Good start up front. We got them side by side down into the corner. Ryder gets shuffled back into the number two spot. She's quickly back up to the back bumper of CB down into turn number three and four as he rotates the bottom onto the front straightaway and leads lap number one. Watching back behind, Cal Larson looking to the outside. A few others trying that trail as well as they race down into the corner. Larson runs it deep, looking to the outside as Kofoy goes to work on Rymer side by side. Across the line, Rymer still there, scored second on the field. Keep your eye on that 1K car. Larson thought he's going to be able to sling it down into turn number three and take up three wide. That's not the case. He's hustling hard, though, on the top side. There's the ideal maneuver. Around the outside of Kofoy, now to the inside of Rymer. As here comes the 97, Gavin Miller to play as well. We're going to number five spot out, turn number two down the back straight away up front, and CV continue to hang on to it as he continues to stick the bottom in the 57 car. Having this racing ride, corner and well out of turn number two, got good forward drive as he'll leap out away by about three car legs over Kyle Larson as Larson working second, slings it off the top shelf and down the front straight away, deep into turn number one. Here comes the run out of the 1K for the race lead, out of turn number two, he's got it, Larson onto the point. Steals the lane away from CV. CV bikes it up back behind the 57 car. And big wheelie coming out of Buddy Kofoy. Further back behind, Justin Grant muscles his way out around Avidisian. Avidisian down on the inside, slings back across the scoop, moves back into position for the 71 car. And now sets her sights on Jacob Denny. It lies just ahead to 25. That battle taking place back deep in the field. Boy, good drives coming off the bottom here for Taylor Reimer. Almost leapt down the front straightaway as Larson works towards lap traffic down to turn number three and four. It's Kofoy tucked into the back bumper, looks to the inside, tries to rotate his way through. He's got a drive on Reimer. Reimer deep down into the corner, trying to hold him at bay. Muscles back around the outside. Can she do it? She's still got it. Oh, on the heels of the 57 car, Seavey, watch it. Larson recede off into the distance as Kyle continues to work four in the fluff down at turn number three and four and turn number one and two. Way higher down at the far end of the racetrack as he hits turn number three. Look at that line on the high side. Ain't nobody else trending around up there. It's Larson across the line. Boom. Eight laps to go that time by. Here's your second position trailing by 3.096 seconds to the race leader. As CV starting to throw a little caution to the wind, getting wild and woolly down on that inside line for the 57 car. Z bops his way around Placerville Speedway. It is a bold one down on the inside. Just a tick away from biking that thing up and going out of control as Larson's in heavy lap traffic out ahead. Toe Floyd still holding down P3. Rhymer's right there, as is Avidisian. Two ladies side by side out of turn number two, right down to 67K. Here comes Taylor Rhymer down on the inside, challenging for that third and final podium spot. She'll sling it into turn number one one more time. Down on the inside, CB a little bit of a sitting duck. As Rhymer able to get around to 67K, Buddy back to the inside. Now Avidisian looks out wide. 71 car hoists it up and fires it onto the front straightaway. Tremendous tussle. There's a shot in the shorts for Kofoy. Take that, says Rymers. Here goes Avidisian on through. Checked up to 25K just enough for Avidisian to clear. And now she goes to work on Buddy Kofoy down into turn number one and two. Rides the rim for that number three spot. She's got it. She's got it down into turn number three. Man, that went quickly. Kyle Larson picks up the win. He's quickly up and out of the race car. How about a race, fans? Kyle Larson. We'll send it down with Drake. What a drive for uh, the Elk Grove, California driver, young money, Kyle Larson, career win 26 under the NOS Energy Drink USAC National Midget Banner. Six to the win. A very impressive drive for Kyle Larson. It's his third win here at the Placerville Speedway under the USAC National Banner. Of course, Kyle Larson, this is the place where he got his first laps in a sprint car in a competitive setting. First sprint car win came here at what he considers to be his home race shack as we'll get him decorated with the NOS hat, USAC medal, who's your tire neck band, and get him up here on the Placerville Speedway stage. Here he is, race fans, Young Money, Kyle Larson, your feature event winner.
Kyle, I think a lot of us expected that track to be pretty narrow to start the race, but you started six and expertly and efficiently cut your way through the field. Did it surprise you a little bit how fast you got to the front? Uh, yeah, a little bit. I mean, I knew my car was going to be good. I felt really good in the heat race. I just knew I needed to clean some things up. And um, you know, the track was kind of you know, in between. Like, we didn't know what it was going to do just because with the rain coming and going and them tilling it and all that. But, uh, you know, when they reworked it before the, you know, B or whatever, um, I could tell that the bottom wasn't quite that good early, so I was just going to commit to the top and uh, try and get some momentum built. And, and my car just got through the holes really good compared to everybody else and kind of allowed me to move around. And um, fun to go 30 laps, whatever that was, nonstop. That was uh, pretty intense for my seat. Um, traffic was crazy. I was watching the board and, and um, you know, tried to peek back when I could. And I felt like I was putting together a good laps, so just didn't know, you know when you get stuck like that. So. Uh, a lot of fun, cool to get back into victory lane in a midget. It's been, I think, since you know, here a couple of years ago. Not that I raced a lot, but it's still been you know, a couple of years since I've won a midget race. So it uh, feels really good. Thanks to Paul Silva, Trevor, Doug. Um, we struggled with this thing you know, a couple of years ago. We ran um, the West Coast Swing and the Chili Bowl and all that, and uh, my car felt really good there. I uh, could get through the holes really good. I felt like we improved on it each, each time we hit the racetrack. And yeah, I could just hammer the shit out of it there, and it felt, uh, it felt good. You talked about the drivability of the 1K, and I think it was most shown off well in turns three and four. You were able to go four in the fluff, really where nobody was able to go. Why did your car work up there so good? Yeah, I don't know. It just it got through the holes good. It got through the your chunky cushion well, and then you just gave me a lot of confidence to enter with speed up there. I think you guys, I was behind you. They would have to enter kind of slow and straight, and uh, I could just you know, bury it into the cushion and not worry about biking and flipping. So. Um, yeah, when you have a car that you're confident in, you can do a lot with it. You know, I felt really good in a lot of different lanes as I caught traffic. Either I was able to get through the first handful really good because they were all running the bottom, and then once I got in where they were really racing, I, it was uh, tough because you know, they were running everywhere I wanted to be, and uh, it's just hard to keep that momentum up. But um, you know, thanks to uh, Matt Wood, Scott Russell, everybody involved with this event. Can't believe we got this thing in tonight. Um, hopefully, you know, the weather will cooperate tomorrow and. Uh, we can get that thing in his schedule, but um, appreciate all you fans coming out too. I know the weather's really cold and the rain's annoying, but uh, always enjoy getting out here race for you guys. You've won on the biggest stages in motorsports. What does it mean for you to come back home and park it in victory lane one more time? Well, this one's really special, honestly, because you know I, I feel like I said I've ran I don't know 10 or 12 midget races in the last couple of years, and uh, that's probably the longest I've ever gone without winning a midget race, and. Um, so yeah, you know, it feels special too after you know struggling with this thing a couple years ago to come out and be that much better than the field. It was uh, it was fun. You know, we lapped a lot of good cars. Logan's been dominating the season and, and was able to pass him for the lead. So uh, Buddy, Grant, you know, Reimer, everybody up there uh, are really really good midget racers. So uh, to come in um, and win the first night out, it uh, it feels really great. So like I said, I hope we get the rest of the weekend in and um, we can you'll get another Hangtown 100. For the first time since 2021, Kyle Larson is in USAC National Midget Victory Lane for the 26th time of his career.